welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do butterfly locks distress locks on yourself they're actually distressed by the way you know some folks be getting these butterfly locks or these distress locks and they be saying it's distressed and they be looking like too neat like they don't be looking distressed at all i'll be like distress wear but yeah today i'm gonna be showing y'all how to achieve these butterfly locks on yourself super easy very beginner friendly trust me because if i can do it you can do it i'm really not that good at hair i do wigs and stuff but as far as like braids twists you know i don't do that so yeah these are very easy to do very beginner friendly i promise you you can do it and yeah by the way make sure you watch the video and read the description before you go ask me questions in the comments i have to say this now because i've been having some issues with people clearly not watching the videos or reading the descriptions the recent hauls that i posted like the past three hauls that i posted people literally have been asking me questions that i answer in the video like they were literally broke Say I did a Shein haul or an AliExpress haul and like I was talking about you know items that I had in the haul. People were literally asking me where I got the item. <sighs> it's in the top. I don't understand. I, like, I, I don't get it. Um, I try and be nice because I really don't know people like just you know some people may have issues or something like you know conditions or whatever. I don't know but or y'all just aren't watching the video or you aren't listening or you're not reading. Reading is fundamental, okay? Please just watch the video and read the description before you go ask me questions. Cause now I'm finna get to the point where I'm not finna answer your question if I answered it in the video because it's aggravating when I take the time out to make sure that I include as many details as possible and try and answer um, as many of the things that I think y'all might ask in the video or include in the description or put a picture on the screen or a price on the screen or the name of it on the website if you wanna search it and y'all still ask me, like I take the time to do that and you still like don't watch it because you're too lazy to watch it. Like that's rude to be honest. So I'm gonna stop answering y'all's comments if I answered it in the video and you steady asking me the same question that I answered clearly in the video. Especially comments like that, like be like, oh, where'd you get this item that I included in the haul? Like, what do you mean? Where did I get it? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I try and be nice to people because I really don't know what people have going on. Like, can you not read or you can't hear or something? Like, I don't know. So I try and be nice, but if it's just the fact that you're just not watching the video and you're not reading the description, I'm not gonna answer your questions. Cause that's rude. Like I really take time. Like I spend so much like hours and hours editing and filming, making sure that I include as much as possible that y'all don't have to ask questions. And then, you know, if there's questions that I didn't answer, then feel free to ask them. But if I answered it and you're just too lazy to watch the video, I'm not answering you. Like that's rude, it's really rude. So um, yeah, I just want to say that real quick. Just watch the whole video and read the description before you go ask me anything. Cause I'm really about to, have to get rude on folks and I don't want to do that. So yeah, as always, if you want to see how I achieve these butterfly locks, then keep on watching. So I just want to show y'all my parts real quick before we get started. Don't mind the background, I'm in my room. I told y'all I was redoing my room. In a few videos, if you've never seen it, then you don't know that, but in the middle of that, so don't mind all that back there, but I will do a room transformation video tour haul type of thing of like everything and where I got it, all that. Anyway, I'm at my little vanity right now, but these are my parts so y'all can see them. So I have about 45 or 46 parts in my head right now. So I'll have 45, 46 locks. And then I'll tell y'all how many packs of hair I use once I get done and what else oh yeah i washed and blow dried my hair i just washed my hair with the uh, suave clarifying shampoo and aussie moist conditioner and then when i blow dried my hair i used beyond the zone tone to heat heat protection spray and cheese silk infusion i didn't film that but um you know i, I have videos of after i blow dried my hair so i put one of those right here and yeah my cousin did my parts last night we had to split up into two days because i have a lot of hair and you know i just wasn't gonna do all this in one day so this is all my hair no added in hair nothing like that just my hair it up because we wasn't finna add in no hair that's just too much so i'm gonna get started i'm actually gonna do all of the locks in the back and like up to here first and then i'll do like three or four to show y'all how to do them in the front so that y'all can see the front of my head but i'm gonna go ahead and do all these so when i come back all these will be done and then we'll get into the tutorial and i'll show y'all how to do a few in the front so y'all can see and i can see what i'm doing so yeah okay tutorial now all right y'all so i'm just now finishing all the other locks as you can see 
I've done my entire head already except these three sections right here that I'm gonna show y'all how to do butterfly locks on yourself with. So I'm gonna demonstrate it three times just so y'all get the hang of it. You know, I was gonna do it once and then y'all could always just go back and replay it, but you know how YouTubers do, you know, gotta do it more than once. So yeah, so let's start with the hair that I use. So I got a pack of the Free Trust braiding hair and I got the water wave texture and I got the extra long length. There's no like number length on here. I just got the one that said extra long at my local beauty supply store because I wanted to make sure it was long enough to wrap around my hair. So yeah, I got the extra long. Also for my roots and the ends of my hair, I use the Style Factor Edge Booster and this is for thick and coarse hair, the extra strength and moisture rich pomade. That's what I use. It's also what I use to lay my edges. Okay, so now I'm about to show y'all how to do these locks. So as y'all saw, I have my hair in braids. Each section is braided up. I hope this is enough light in here because I didn't bring my ring light in here and I got my edges tied down because they look a mess. Yeah, I got my hair in braids. All my sections were braided up and then you just wrap the hair around the braid. So I'm finna show y'all how to do it. So the hair comes already sectioned in the pack and all you need is one section, one of these little loops here. So let me show y'all what one looks like. This is two. So you only need one of these for one section. Oh, that's all I use for each section is one of these. Then what you wanna do is take it and separate it and fluff it out. So I just take my nail and run through it and separate it all the way to the bottom. Y'all know this hair like the tangle, which is the most aggravating part of this whole entire process, to be honest. Yeah, you just wanna separate the section and like fluff it out. All right, so now you can see it's separated and I'll show y'all what it looked like when you don't separate it. So here is one that's not separated and here's what it looks like when you fluff it out. So this is what you want. Now what you're gonna do is take your crochet, your crochet hook and go up under your braid at the rear here. Hopefully y'all can see like that. So it's up under the braid. I'm gonna get close so y'all can see it's up under the braid. And then you're gonna take your section and then I just twist it in the middle right here so that it's easier to hook on to the um, crochet hook so I don't have all these strands getting caught on the hook. And then you're gonna put it on the hook, close the latch and pull it through. You also don't have to do this crochet method. You could just start wrapping, but I feel more secure um, crocheting it up under my braid so I know like for sure that it's not gonna come out. But you don't have to do this. You can just start wrapping. So then you're just gonna start pulling through one side of the strand so that you have this little thing going on right here. So it's like sliding under. You have two strands on each side. Okay, so you're gonna take your braid and you're gonna take this section right here or either section doesn't matter. I've been taking the section on my right. So you're just gonna pull it up to where one of the sides is short like this. You don't need the whole thing to be all the way down here. So you just need enough to hold on to to start wrapping. And then you're gonna grab your braid with the short section. And hopefully y'all can see this, but what you're gonna do is start wrapping. At the root of your hair, you wanna wrap tight. You wanna wrap it around maybe five or six times at the root so you have like a secure base. So I wrapped it about here. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. I hope y'all can see. But I wrapped it about this far down. I wrapped it this far down. So when you get there, or however far you wanna go down, wrapping it tight, um, you don't need to go too far. You just need to have a secure base. You just wanna take the hair. Don't grab the entire section, just grab like a piece. All the other hair will be stuck to it and just go like this. Like just lightly throw it over. You're not wrapping tight, you're just taking some and throwing it over to the other side and pulling a piece and throwing it over. Grabbing a piece, pulling it over. You're gonna do that all the way to the bottom. That's what's gonna give you the distressed look. This is why I wanna do my locks myself because some people be getting their distressed locks and they don't be looking all that distressed. Like they be looking too neat to me. So if you want them as distressed as mine, then just take it like this, take a piece, throw it over. Y'all get what I'm doing? I'm just, don't grab the entire section like this. Just grab enough for you to pinch between your fingers and throw it. And you'll see how it starts looking like distressed as you keep going down. I'm gonna turn to the side so y'all can see. Cause my shirt is black and the hair is black. So see how it's like kind of getting all lumpy and messy looking. 
So you're just gonna keep taking it and throwing it. Which that's the good thing about these locks. There's no like technique or like no specific way that you have to do it because it's supposed to be messy. So it doesn't matter if it's just, you know, looking jacked up because it's supposed to look jacked up. You know what I'm saying? All right, so when I get towards the end, what I do, this is my hair right here. So what I do is just fold my hair up like this and start wrapping back up the um, lock or the braid with the passion twist here. Just start wrapping back up in the same direction that you were wrapping when you were going down. And that's it, I don't do anything to secure it. It literally will just stay like that. I just roll it in between my hands like this. And boom. So I'm gonna show y'all again. I really hope y'all can see me cause I'm not even sure, I can barely see myself. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all again on another section and I'm gonna show y'all again on one more. So again, separate your strand, just one section from the pack of hair is all you need and separate it, fluff it out. I actually would sit and fluff out a whole pack of hair and then start, but this is like my last three. So I'm just doing it as I go right now. But before I would like fluff out a whole pack and lay it out and then start wrapping. If anybody knows a better method of fluffing out these sections without it tangling so bad, let me know because this be too much. All right, so again, taking your braid, taking your section, take your crochet hook, open the latch, slide it under your braid, take your fluffed out section, twist it up in the middle so you can easily hook it onto the uh, crochet hook. So that way it looks like this and not all fluffy. Then hook it onto the hook, close the latch, Pull it through. And like I said, you don't have to do this. You can just start wrapping. Just make sure, you know, one section is long. You have a short section, just enough to um, hold with your hair to wrap. So I have a short piece, long piece, and I have my braid with the short piece. Then you wanna start wrapping, tie at the root, maybe five or six times. Okay, and then once you feel like your base is secure enough, just grab a piece, throw it over. Grab a piece, throw it over. Grab a piece, throw it over. And do that all the way down. All right, like I said, when I get to the end, I take my hair, fold it up, and start wrapping in the same direction, back up the lock. Some people use nail glue to secure the end of the passion twist hair, and you can do that if you feel more comfortable. Um, but mine aren't moving at all with the method I'm doing, just wrapping it up and leaving it, it's not moving. I guess like the hair like tangles around itself somehow or enough to stay in place cause this, they're not moving. Um, I was having that problem at first though, but um, I found out that I wasn't wrapping close enough together. Like I was spacing it out too much. So I started wrapping it closer together. Then I just roll it to my hands and boom. So I'm gonna show y'all this last time on this last section so I can be done because it's 8.35 in the morning and I started these locks at nine o'clock last night. So, and I have to go to church, park and praise at 10.15. We do park and praise cause you know, it's coronavirus. So we just sit in our cars and we can all hear them from the car. So yeah, I have church at 10.15 and I'm having brunch with my cousins at 12. So yeah, I've been up all night and I also have a lot of work to do for school. So we're off to a great start today. And I'll talk about the number of packs that I used when I'm done so y'all can know like exactly how much I use. Oh, by the way, I said I had 45, 46 parts, 45, 46 sections. I actually have 47 to be exact. So yeah, 47 sections, 47 locks in my head. Like I always fall short of being worthy. All right, so I just opened up a fresh pack here so y'all can see what they look like. So you only need one of these, like I said. So here's one. All right, y'all, last time, fluff it out.
Okay, all fluffed out. Take a crochet hook, going up under the braid. Latch open. Take your section, twist it up in the middle so you can hook it on. Hook it on there. Close the latch. Pull it through. And only pull through one side so you have two strands. Boom. Now, pull some more to one side so you have a short piece. And grab your hair with the short piece. Then you want to wrap tight at the root five, six times or however many you need to feel secure. I ain't no superstar. Spotlight ain't shining on me. Okay, now you got a secure base. Just grab and throw. Grab and throw. Grab and throw grab and throw I hope y'all got the hang of it by now because I'm out of section. This is my last one. <laughs> but it's real easy to do. It's really nothing to it for real. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the point of, you know, distressed locks. So, beginner friendly hairstyle. You know, you can be sloppy. Now, I don't know about the parts though. I didn't do my parts. I did my parts myself when I did my passion twist, but that just stressed me out. So, I had my cousin do my parts for me. Because I wasn't about to do that again. Because I'm one of the types that get upset and cry when I get aggravated with my hair or my hair doesn't turn out right. All right, we're at the end. So, I'm taking my hair. This is what's left of my hair, folding it up, and then wrapping back up around that to secure that in there. Then I just roll it between my hands. Boop, and boom. I'm done, finally. You know I'm not going to bed because let me start getting ready for church. I need to eat, so. But I'm done, so that's good. Yeah, I hope this made sense. I hope I explained it well enough. I hope y'all could see, for one. I like these. They were super easy, super cute. Just very time consuming is all. So yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and my edges and I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all about the details, how many packs I used, um, how long it took. So yeah, I'll be back when I look presentable. All right, so my makeup is done. My edges are laid. So let's talk about the details about these locks. So like I said, I have 47 sections, 47 parts, so 47 locks in my head. I used five packs of hair, which I could have gone with four, but I ended up opening the fifth pack and only used one section out of it because I messed up a few strands along the way because they got tangled up when I was trying to flip them out or whatever. So I probably could have got away with four if I hadn't messed those up because I only used one out of the fifth pack. But for this many locks that I have, I suggest you just go ahead and get five just in case you mess up a few. So five packs how long it took. I can't really say about the parts. Like I said, I didn't do my parts myself, but as far as the locks and wrapping and everything after the parts were done, it took me 11 and a half hours. Cause I started at nine o'clock Saturday night. By the way, it's Thursday now. Like I filmed the um, tutorial on Sunday and I never filmed the rest of the video. So here I am four days later. It took me 11 and a half hours. I started it at nine o'clock Saturday night and I finished it at 8.30 something Sunday morning. So yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, if that's too long for you, I don't know if that takes that long for everybody else, but I take a long time on my hair anyway. I don't move very fast when I do my hair ever. It always takes me a long time. So don't know if that has anything to do with it, but yeah, that's how long it took me. I guess I'll tell y'all how they're holding up because I've had them in for four days now. So they're holding up pretty well. I haven't had any issues with any of them, like, you know, coming to loose or anything like that. The only thing is like, you know, this kind of hair gets stuck together, like you see, but um, that's fine. You know, it kind of makes it look more messy or whatever. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'll put everything that you need in the description box and I'll try and link the hair just in case you don't have the hair that I have at your beauty supply store. So I'll try and find like a link for it somewhere so you can order it if you want to use the same hair, the extra long free trust water wave hair. So yeah, I'll put everything that you need in the description. I'll try and put links to the hair so that you can find it. And I'll try and put links to other stuff that I use too, like my, like stuff that I use to blow dry my hair, the edge booster if you just care to know where it's from or you want to get the same thing i don't know but 
I'll put everything in the description that I use to achieve this, so no worries. But um, other than that, I think that's everything that I need to say about these blocks. Oh, taking them out. Now, I don't know how to take these out. If y'all want a separate video on that, when it comes time for me to take these out, let me know in the comments if y'all want a video on how to take them out and I will film a video on me taking them out so that y'all know how to take them out because I really don't know how to get these out of my head. But they in there now, so we'll figure that out when we get there. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's it. So if you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer already or didn't include in the description box, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I will be sure to answer you because I try and reply to everybody. I pretty much do reply to all my comments, so yeah. But that is it for this Butterfly Locks Distress Locks tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope it made sense. I hope you could see. I hope everything was clear and tag me if you try this out. Uh, try the method that I did. If this tutorial helped you do yours or you follow this tutorial to do yours. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Oh y'all, by the way, we just hit 900 subscribers today. I haven't posted it or anything yet because it like just happened. But yeah, we hit 900 subscribers today. Remember, like I said, my fashion overhaul, when I hit 1K, I'm doing a giveaway. So make sure you're following me on my social medias, Instagram in the description or in the outro so that when I post the giveaway rules, you can enter. I will also post it at the end of a video that I post around the time that I hit 1K. So yeah, stay tuned because I got three winners, three prizes, two cash prizes and one to be announced when that day comes. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet, but I already have it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, bye. Stop it. What you know about me?